Home away, mate. You like to see homos naked? Home away, you make it. Yeah, you like to see homos naked. That's cool, man. Whatever. <laughs> What is up, Krillin Nation, and welcome your butts back to a brand new edition and a brand new episode of the Division 2 Builds. Before we hop into the gameplay and then the build, if you would be so kind to please smash that like button, ground and pound that subscription button, and also reach up there, trigger the bell, and turn on post notifications, so that way you know each and every time a stream goes live or a video is uploaded. Shoutouts to Gamer Gary for donating me the apparel keys to unlock all the apparel for this apparel event. And if you too want to become a used condom, like the outfit that I'm wearing uh, currently, then you too can go through, get the keys, and unlock uh, this outfit. And you too can become a used condom roaming around the Division universe. But anyways, I'm going to send you over to some gameplay, and then we're going to hop right into the build. We'll see you guys and gals back here in just a moment. Come out, come out, wherever you are for a line. <laughs> come as you here, schnau. <laughs> Come see here, Mr. Fulline. Oh. You trying to extract and mind the Mr. Fulline? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Damn. Ah, oh, you tripped, my dude. <laughs> As you can see in countdown it was hitting for 1.2 mil and then I started the uh, you know joking around with my little fur lines in the dark zone yeah yeah come here with the fur line yeah and let's hop into the build I'm utilizing the technician just because uh, it gives you that plus one skill tier I'm utilizing a vector max crit damage almost max crit chance damage to targets at a cover and of course sadist Deal 20% weapon damage to bleeding enemies. After 4 kills, applies bleed to your next enemy hit. Then next, I have MP7 that I was just fooling around with. Uh, it seems to do alright. Just got to continue to max it out as far as SMG damage and damage to targets out of cover. Um, I have a Banshee that I'll probably use with um, Sadist on it. Tried out the, the cold relations. Um, with perfect strained, um, just trying out a bunch of different ones. So I would try out, you know, a bunch of different SMGs uh, to, you know, whatever tweaks and twiddles your fancy. Uh, my go-to actually would be the Vector SBR 9 millimeter. That 1,200 rounds, or 1,200 RPM around, uh, you know, in the 53 round magazine, hitting for 1.2 mil a bullet. That RPN, that damage, yeah, you can seriously melt things in Countdown. But, you know, filter choice, whatever your personal preference is when it comes to SMGs. Now, as far as skills, anything that procs a bleed, that's why I run a Hive and, of course, a Deflector Drone. But this is filter's choice also, whatever you prefer. Now let's hop into the build itself. Starting out first with the Ridgeway's chest piece. Uh, it has the bleeding edge on it. Shooting an enemy within 15 meters apply bleed to the target. Repairs 3 to 48 percent of your armor per second for every enemy that is bleeding within 15 meters. Repair strength per number of bleeding enemies 1 through 5. It doubles each and every time all the way up to 48 percent. And I have a crit hit damage mod in it. 
Now a Grupo Sombro Backpack, Weapon Damage, Critical Hit Chance, Critical Hit Damage, and then of course Critical Hit Damage in the Mod Slot. Still trying to optimize that, and once those uh, values are increased and fully optimized, then this is definitely going to be an even further melter. Applying Stas Effect increases total weapon damage by 18% for 20 seconds. I would choose this over the Golem One Piece, which comes with the Anarchist Cookbook, which is perfectly wicked. Uh, you do not get an increase in damage. All you do is get an increase in duration from 27 seconds. And then, of course, the regular Wicked has 20 seconds. So I much prefer go with Group Probe and get that extra critical hit damage. Or the likes of Walker Harris, get that 5% weapon damage. Anything other than that One Piece Golem bonus that only gives you 10% status effect. And then next we have the Chill Out Mask. Uh, fairly decent armor roll. It's above average, almost maxed out. Uh, I roll critical hit damage on it, and I'm still trying to find those 12% critical hit damage mods. But essentially you can get 36% 30%, weapon dam or critical hit damage just from the attribute mod slots that are within the Chill Out Mask. You can mix and match them, whatever you prefer. If you want to put armor regen on every single mod slot, you're more welcome to it. So go for it. I'm definitely going to try that out next. Keep the, you know, lower main attribute. Probably switch it from crit damage to uh, armor regen. And then, of course, to armor regen mod slots. Or you can go with, you know, regen and targets out of cover. I'm not targets out of cover. I apologize. But um, armor on kill. Protection from elites. You know, the sky's the limit when it comes to the chill out mask. Because it does have those two additional mod slots. Plus the attribute and then the core main attribute itself. And now going on to the knee pads. These are suck me off knee pads with max armor on them, max crit damage. And then, of course, I got a minuscule roll of the 4.6 critical hit chance. On to the gloves. It is two pieces of Hunter's Fury. 15% shotgun damage, and it gives you 15% SMG damage. And then, of course, with the holster, same thing. Max crit, uh, max crit damage, max armor. And then you can switch these up. Um, you can also, instead of the Hunter's Fury, you can go with the Two Beast Walker Harris, which is actually going to give you 5% uh, weapon damage and 5% uh, damage to armor uh, if you want to go that route. Also, if you choose to go that route, um, as you can see, it gives you two attribute slots versus just one. So you can further your output as far as when it comes to the uh, critical hit damage. Um, but as you can see, I'm rolled all that. So if you're using it and needing crit chance, then you can put crit chance in that. Um, you can go with the armor on kill again, the armor regen as far as that second attribute slot. You know, whatever your personal preference is. But just keep in mind the green gear only comes with one minor attribute slot. Um, so you can, you know, fill this choice, whatever you prefer. But if you go with the Walker Harris, then it's actually going to give you two minor attribute slots as well. Um, so keep that in mind. I'm going to try it out myself. Uh, let me know if you've already tried it out. This is really fun in Countdown. As you can see, it was really fun in PvP. Let me know what you uh, think in the comment section below. And before we end it, let's go over the character sheet stats. As you can see, 54.7% critical hit chance, 175.9% critical hit damage, 59.2% headshot damage. So... You know, you can definitely, you know, further that output as far as critical hit damage and max out critical hit chance. I'm just missing those additional values, whereas my pieces are not optimized. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Appreciate all the love and support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you guys and gals fudging later. God bless and be a better person tomorrow than what you were today.